I really wanted to dive deeper into the budget for this plastic challenge and have like a whole like chart of things and how much they cost if you're getting the ones that come in plastic versus the ones that don't but this project overwhelmed me I had no idea how much time it was gonna take and I am currently three weeks away from Italy when you're watching this video I'll actually be in Italy but I'm filming it three weeks away because I have so much stuff that I have to get done that I'm freaking out I don't I don't know if it's gonna happen I need to go do other things so I'm not gonna have time to go heavily research the prices but I can tell you several examples my salmon if you're buying like wild caught or grass-fed or pasture-raised meats and trying to buy them without plastic it was like twice as expensive and it's already a little more expensive than the regular because it's organic and grass all that but it was like double that when you got it behind the meat counter so that was a challenge produce was actually probably cheaper um, when you got it outside of plastic because usually when it comes in plastic it's already been washed and already been peeled or prepared or something in some form or another so it actually was cheaper produce wise most of the time to get stuff that wasn't in plastic it, it kind of depends on what it is again I can't have a list for you I'm sorry but this is just a quick breakdown for you guys hygiene products the razor definitely saves you money over the long run, um, and the period panties save you money over the long run. The toothbrush, toothpaste, mm, the tooth powder would save you money, but it was too disgusting. I can't do it. The toothbrushes are around the same cost as a regular toothbrush. You're buying a lot less um, processed food, so that's probably a lot cheaper produce is really inexpensive so really the most expensive stuff is the meat um, that's like double the price and then some hygiene products are pretty expensive but again I haven't looked at everything so there might be some better alternatives out there if you have the time for it you can always make your own stuff and that is way cheaper but I personally have never come across any homemade things that I've made that I liked better than something I could get in the store so food is a different story I'm talking about like hygiene products here homemade food is good so budget wise it's, it's kind of hard to say I would say it's expensive but I also tried to force it down in 30 days but if you gradually switched over time I think there is the possibility that it might be cheaper to not use plastic maybe that's a theory we'll have to test it maybe when I come back from Italy or if I have a bunch of extra free time on my computer over there but that's unlikely cuz Italy so I will have to update you maybe some day far in the future if I get a chance to do more budget research and stuff um, perhaps after returning but for now I want to focus on Italy learning Italian eating good food tell me what you guys want to know because i will be taking my stuff with me and i'll be posting from over there was this challenge worth it did you make any ad revenue yes my cynical but adorable sweet Airbnb guest has asked me this because I did start a YouTube channel because I would eventually like to make ad revenue off of it however that is not what this is all about that would be lovely I love to travel I need a form of income that comes to me that I can do while traveling this is one of the ways of doing that however that is not the reason why I did the plastic challenge. I thought of this idea separately than my vlog and then later decided I could do a vlog about this and show other people. So yes, this plastic challenge, 30 day plastic challenge, it was worth it. It was hard and I failed a lot and I might have chosen a bad time to do it when I'm trying to prepare for Italy. I honestly had no idea how much work was going to be involved in this before getting started, but I just wanted to dive in 
and do it or else it was just gonna become another one of those ideas it was like oh that's lovely bye so I just dove in and I did it yes it was totally worth it I feel like I've learned a lot and it's gonna continue to gradually change my life over time so I'm definitely glad that I did it and I'm really thankful for all of you guys who have been watching this. No, the answer is no. I did not make any ad revenue off of these videos yet. There is, uh, I think you have to have a thousand subscribers before Google Ads even considers you to put ads on your YouTube channel. So keep sending me those subscribers so I can make some money because this is a lot of work, guys. Like. I've had zero time for like anything over the last month. I've just been shooting and editing and spending my weekends and all my free time that's I'm not at work like it's I've had to give up dance for several rehearsals because I couldn't squeeze it all in. So it is it is work. We're not getting paid for nothing. Uh, but no, I have not gotten paid yet. I'm doing this purely out of the interest in care about the environment and the and people and just love I know I'm cheesy but I love love and I don't just mean romantic love I mean all forms of it and one of those forms is caring about how things are and how people feel and how beautiful something is I care and that's really what prompted me to do this is that I want to be an example. I want to make a difference. I am always bitching about the world needs to change, but guess what? Be the change you want to see in the world. I've held that quote close to me for a long time, but I've always beat myself up because I never really felt like I was the change. I was always complaining about a lot of stuff, which is great, but never really jumping on that train to make the difference. And uh, I still struggle with self-esteem and believing myself but yes if I'm being transparent I, I would like to make a change I love it when people tell me that I've inspired them I love it when people say that something I've done has made them want to be a better person and that's the stuff that really keeps me going is knowing that I've affected somebody else for the better and so even if I never make money off YouTube and this ends up teaching 10 people to reduce their plastic waste, like that's really what's going to be important to me is that I've done something better for the world. One last bonus subject I want to talk to you guys about because somebody was like, what are you going to do for sex? What about condoms? Yep, I've learned about that too. I found another vlogger who spoke on this subject and that kind of just is what it is. Currently, condoms are probably the best way that you can prevent STDs if you are sexually active and they're also one of the good forms of birth control, especially if you don't wanna F with your hormones. Like for women, taking birth control can really screw up your body, so. And hormones probably also come in plastic, so there's not really much of an option there. They have not, to my knowledge, invented something that's not disposable plastic for that. So you could be a monk or a nun and be abstinent for the rest of your life, but that's no fun, right? So unfortunately, we're still gonna find some used condoms in the ocean. There's other ways. I mean, this could this could bring up an entire other religious political debate about how sex should just be for marriage or not. I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying there's currently no option other than abstinence to go plastic free for your sex life. Unless you get surgery like a vasectomy or your tubes tied, but that's usually only if you're in a committed relationship that gonna be lasting hopefully forever and you're both willing to go under the knife and have decided a hundred percent that you don't want kids so that's obviously not a viable option unless you just really really care that much about plastic that you don't care if you ever have kids and you want to go have surgery you do whatever you want no judgment 
this is not my job. My job is just to report to you how you can reduce your plastic. And someone asked about condoms. There's not really a good option right there. So that's something that will probably have to stay plastic until they figure out something new. I did come across these sheepskin condoms, but I guess if you're really adamant about going plastic free, that's an option. However, they do not prevent STDs and they smell apparently. And as soon as I looked at a picture of one, I was 100% decided that I'm never going to try that. So like you do you, but this is definitely not something to go plastic free on to me. I will have to update you maybe some day far in the future if I get a chance to do more budget research and stuff, um, perhaps after returning. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment below if there's something particular for you that you're interested in. When you are watching this video, I'm going to be just arriving in Italy. That is so crazy to think about. But yes, I'll be in Italy. So start thinking of stuff that you want to see or learn about Italy. And I would love to share it with you. Oh well. Yep.